Hello, my name is Hiroyuki Muraoka and welcome to this forest ecosystem. Today I would like to invite you to my research field to this decidua fo forest. And I've been interested in the life of trees, especially their leaf photosynthesis and their light environment. And if you see the top of the canopy, you can see many leaves of the tall trees. Such leaves can catch the su strong sunlight for their photosynthesis and for their growth. And if you see the middle of the canopy, the leaves can still catch a strong light for their photosynthesis. But if you see the understory of the forest, the light is limited and these understory seedlings are shaded. My ecological question is how do these various trees grow by catching and utilizing the light by arranging their leaf display and physiology? We can study the small trees because we can touch them easily. But studying the leaves of tall trees is a challenging task for ecologists. Mountainous landscape has a complicated uh, systems of ecosystems like forest ecosystems and river ecosystems. Here, uh, in this uh, forest ecosystems, uh, we have been uh, exploring the ecosystem functions of these uh, forest ecosystems. Forest ecosystems have a crucial role in uh, regulating the carbon dioxide condition in the atmospheric uh, situations. So here uh, we have the variety of trees, I mean this is the biodiversity of these forest ecosystems and we have been focusing on the growth of the trees and the leaf photosynthesis and their uh, functional role of carbon dioxide uptake from the atmosphere. My research interest involves scaling up the leaf level photosynthesis to forest level photosynthesis. Relationship between the phenology of leaf photosynthesis and forest photosynthesis is one of my research topics. So far, I have been clarified the phenology and interannual variation of forest canopy photosynthesis. Photosynthesis begins in spring, matures in summer, and declines in autumn. I have been studying the ecophysiological function of forest canopy and its dynamics under climate change by collaborating with many researchers for atmospheric carbon dioxide, remote sensing, and modeling.
By linking ecology, meteorology, and remote sensing, we established a multidisciplinary framework called satellite ecology to study the spatial and temporal dynamics of forest ecosystems. As one of our satellite ecology study, now we can estimate the forest photosynthesis at regional level by the satellite remote sensing. Now we are standing at the crossroad of plant ecology and climate change science. We continue to explore the function and dynamic behavior of forest canopy under climate change. Yeah.